Are you looking for a new puppy and are not quite sure what's the right breed for you? Well in this video we'll take a look at two of the larger breeds that could be perfect canine companions for you. The Boxer and the Flat Coated Retriever. Welcome back to the Fenrir Boxer Show. If this is your first time here, my name is Franny and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you find the perfect breed for you and then helping you become a high level canine leader who can raise the perfect canine companion. If that sounds like you, then make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss another upload. So let's dive into today's video where we will be comparing these two beautiful breeds. Firstly, we'll start with the long history of the Boxer. The Boxer's ancestors have been traced all the way back to 2500 BC. They were war dogs, but they looked a little different back then. They're part of the Molossa and Mastiff family and are classed as working dogs. The Boxer's appearance as we know it today originated in Germany. Boxers have been bred down from larger German breeds called the Bullenbeiser, which translated means bull biter. These Bullenbeisers were used by the nobles in medieval times to hunt down large game. As time went on, the Bullenbeisers were bred with smaller Mastiff type breeds, and Boxers have their names due to the way they fight and play with their front paws much like a Boxer in a fighting ring. Boxers have been used for many jobs over the years, such as war dogs, police dogs, cattle dogs, protection dogs, watch dogs, and even guide dogs. They're held in such high regard that they're still today voted one of the America's top 10 breeds. The flat-coated retriever originated in England in the mid 19th century. They became popular as gamekeeper's dogs, and it's thought that they are ancestors of the now extinct St John's water dogs, but this has not been proven. Another ancestor of the flat-coated retriever is the Newfoundland, brought across by Canadian seafarers. Collie-type dogs were added into their heritage to help improve their trainability. The other breeds that were added include Labrador retrievers and a mix of setters and spaniels were also added. The breed was officially recognised by the American Kennel Club in 1915 and they very quickly became popular as gun dogs. During World War II, the number of flat-coated retrievers deceased, which nearly led to their extinction. However, this was avoided thanks to breed enthusiasts and selective breeding. The flat-coated retrievers soon began to rise in popularity again. Boxers are one of the most instantly recognised short-haired breeds. Boxers used to be known for having dock tails and ears, but this practice has been banned in many countries. The two most common colours of Boxer are Fawn and Brindle. Usually both of these colours also have flashes of white across the Boxer's feet, undercarriage, neck and face. You may still find a Boxer in a different colour but they're less common. Less recognised colours include the Reverse Brindle which is Fawn stripes on a black body and completely white Boxers which are not recognised in the UK Kennel Club or American Kennel Club. Did you know that Boxers do not carry the black jeans so you'll never see a fully black Boxer? Boxers are very muscular and lean dogs. Males usually weigh around 30 to 36 kilograms and grow to around 25 inches at the wither. Females are around 22 to 30 kilograms and grow to around 21 to 25 inches. They must be kept active to keep their fit, physique and muscled body. The flat-coated retriever is a large, muscular breed. They have a long muzzle with strong jaws, ears that are small and sit close to their head. The flat-coated retriever has almond-shaped brown eyes and friendly expressions. Their body should be muscular and not overweight. They should have a deep, broad chest and they should have a feathered tail that is carried at the same height as their back. The flat-coated retriever has a dense coat that lies close to their skin. To keep this coat remaining sleek and clean, you should brush them at least three times a week with a slicker brush or a soft bristle brush. They come in two colours accepted by the Kennel Club, which is black and liver. The only colour that's not accepted is yellow. Males should stand at 23 to 25 inches at the wither, which is around 58 to 64 centimetres, and they should weigh between 60 to 80 pounds, or 27 to 36 kilograms. Females are slightly smaller at 22 to 24 inches at the withers, which is around 56 to 61 centimetres, and should weigh 55 to 75 pounds, or 25 to 34 kilograms. The Boxer is a playful, friendly and energetic breed that's known for its well-balanced all-round temperament. It would be ideal to take them for a walk for 30 to 45 minutes each day, but on particularly hot or cold days they should only go for a short walk. They are high energy dogs and although they love a good walk, they really need the chance to let loose and have a good run. Let them out in a well fenced backyard or if you have excellent recall, you can let them off the leash in fields while you're out for your walks. Boxers were bred to be protection dogs. This instinct is still strong. They're fiercely loyal to their owners and will instinctively defend them and their home from intruders. 
Boxers have an active mind and can become bored easily. This can lead to lots of unwanted behaviours like chewing and digging things they shouldn't. You can help avoid this by keeping them busy with problem solving toys and puzzles. Boxers are relatively easy breeds to train but they respond best to positive reinforcement so be sure to have plenty of treats on hand. The flat coated retriever is an intelligent, confident and placid breed. They're active dogs that love to be doing something and they especially love to be outdoors on an adventure with their family. The flat coated retriever needs plenty of space and a large backyard to run around in. They need at least two hours of exercise every day and the chance to stretch their legs. They do not reach their full maturity until between the ages of three to five years old, so they will retain their puppyish ways for a long time. The flat-coated retriever has a strong will to please their owners. This means that they hate to be left alone and will suffer from separation anxiety. If they're not shown it's okay to be left alone, they will quickly turn to unwanted behaviours like barking, chewing, digging, anxious pacing and toileting in the house. They do make good guard dogs and will alert you to any suspicious activity on your property. As we've previously mentioned, they love to please their owners and this makes training easy as they'll look up to their owners for guidance and direction. They're eager and quick to learn, although they are best suited to short 15 minute training sessions throughout the day to keep their attention. They're sensitive and will not respond to any type of harsh corrections. Boxers are usually good with children as they're patient and gentle. They also recognise the need to be gentle with smaller dogs and puppies too. Although you should be careful with small children and boxers as they can be big and may accidentally knock over small children. They also have long powerful tails which could hurt if a child is hit by a fast wagging tail. With lots of socialisation from puppyhood, they have no issues being raised alongside other pets and they're usually not an aggressive breed. They can, however, struggle slightly with dogs bigger than themselves, especially ones of the same sex. It is incredibly important to try and introduce them to bigger dogs as much as possible while they're still puppies to prevent them from having issues in the future. Even with the boxer's good temperament, you should never leave them alone with any other pets or children, as accidents can happen. The flat-coated retriever is a friendly breed that gets on well both with children and other pets. They quickly create strong bonds with everyone in their family, including children. One downside to this breed is that because it takes a long time for them to fully mature, they can be excitable and boisterous, which can be an issue with small children, especially as without training, they will jump up and could be nippy during puppyhood. It's important that you teach any children how to treat and handle any canines that they should never approach any dog while they're eating, sleeping or drinking. The flat-coated retriever is also very good with other pets too, especially if they've grown up with them. However, they will still more than likely chase the neighbourhood cat. I would never leave any children or pets unsupervised with your canine just in case their prey drive does get the better of them. Both the boxer and the flat coated retriever would make a great family companion, however they should be watched around small children because of their size. Both breeds are friendly and playful and make a strong bond with those in the family. With these two breeds they're very similar and it really is down to your personal preference on looks as to which you prefer to add to your family unit. No matter which you pick, you'll certainly not be disappointed. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button, get involved down in the comment section below, and don't forget, if you're new here, make sure you subscribe, as we have three dedicated boxer videos coming here every week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Boxer Show.